uh, 2008 Rabbit EPC light on it comes on and stalls intermittently. In the parking lot right now, just checking fault codes, engine speed sensor, no signal. Uh, 81048 kilometers, 81526 right now. Uh, copy. Fuel trim, I always like to check fuel trim. Long term, that's fine. Um, so I already have the fault code copied. I'm gonna take it for a test run, see if it stalls out, see if I get the same code. Hopefully it'll restart afterwards. She never said anything about the vehicle not starting. So we've got temperature and RPM. If we lose communication, then the uh, computer is shutting down. If we only lose RPM, um, then I'm, well, RPM loss can be due to obviously engine stalling, driver error, crank sensor. So we'll probably scope it as well just to see what the signal looks like. Maybe we graph this. See what that looks like. So we're watching our red. Our red is RPM. Hopefully it cuts out while cruising rather than at idle because that makes for a more drastic drop in the graph. in the shop now it's gonna let it heat up some more at idle here hopefully it'll start cutting out I'm gonna have to move my Varus so hopefully the piece the USB won't cut out oh car just cut out on me that's funny worried about the uh, USB cutting out but the RPMs cut out so I'm just gonna shut it off and tr try to start it I'm cranking, 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 and it just started again. Going to let it idle again, see if it shuts off again. EPC light is on. Engine speed sensor. So I'm quite confident we're looking at a speed sensor issue. One more time, see if it cuts out. and. Just like I was saying, it's temperature related. <clears throat> it's got a bit of a high idle right now. Let's see if it comes down again. Oh, and it's got 81,000 kilometers. It's probably 50 something miles.
Those are the crank sensor right here. There are the harness plug. Wiring runs down to here. There's the sensor in there. Maybe some power and ground tests right now. The vehicle just cranks uh, and it doesn't start. So I made a little harness. It's not pretty, but it works. And I can now back probe here. So you've got a power and ground, uh, and the middle is the signal to the computer. For my ground, I'm just going to go up against the uh, engine here. Signal wires in the middle. So you can see I have a 5 volt signal right now. Full digital. Yeah, so what the what the crank sensor does, it pulls the uh, signal down to ground um, and that produces a signal that the computer can understand. So it's an on and off signal. So right now, um, with the engine off, you can see a 5 volt signal. When the engine's running, uh, it'll probably be down to about 2.5, maybe 3. Still dead, not producing a signal. And I'm just going to check the other two wires now. Probably my power on this side. It's also a 5 volt signal. Needs a crank sensor. Crank sensor is located right here. Wire harness runs up to here. Issue is intermittent, hard starting, long cranking, uh, loss of power, um, hesitation, all common symptoms of the crank sensor. And I obviously verified it, um, but I didn't catch it on tape, obviously. Otherwise, I would show you the waveforms. And in this case, you have to go from underneath. Yeah, there's no way you can change it from the top. And that's a four millimeter, I believe. Yeah, I was just gonna say, you gotta make sure it's seated correctly when this guy seemed like it wanted to spin. New crank sensor is installed. Somebody was asking or saying about the crank relearn, whether or not that needs to be done. Um, I have yet to run into that, so um, I don't think there is a relearn. I know. On the TDIs, you can watch, there's a sync um, value where the computer goes through cam and crank syncing or relearn on its own. Uh, actually, I could go to basic setting and have a look there. I can't choose anything. Uh, adaptation, I don't think. 
reset learn values I think that's more of a fuel probably so again I've, had, I've changed crank sensors before never had an issue and uh, we can also log again and graph see if it is smoother or not and to me that signal looks smoother. You can see the RPMs steady at a thousand, nine sixty. Before it was jumping by about forty. So I'll let it get back to idle. back at the shop back at idle now yeah you can definitely see that the um, the graph is smoother and I'm idling at about 640 now 680 whereas before as the sensor was failing it was producing a higher signal and it, the engine's smoother as well right now I was saying earlier that it felt like a misfire the odd time and that would make sense if that uh, crank sensor is triggering too, uh, too much uh, in terms of signal variance then uh, that can affect the uh, ignition and fuel injection system done and done